It's a natural question, isn't it? Are we alone? Where is everyone? The Fermi Paradox, the Great Filter, and the search for extraterrestrial life continue to occupy scientists and dreamers alike. Today we're going to dive into one of the most intriguing and unsettling questions in all of science, the Fermi Paradox. Plus we'll explore the meaning of the Great Filter and how astrophotography like this continues to play a role in our search for the life beyond Earth. It all started with a simple question posed by physicist Enrico Fermi in 1950. If the universe is so vast, and there are billions of stars with potentially habitable planets, where are all the aliens? This is known as the Fermi Paradox. There are an estimated 100 billion galaxies, each with hundreds of billions of stars, many of which likely have planets. In fact, it's estimated that one in five stars has a planet in the Goldilocks zone. Even if a small fraction of those planets host life, there should be some evidence of aliens, right? Yet in all the decades we've searched with radios and visually, we've seen and heard nothing, dead silence. One possible explanation for this silence has come to be known as the Great Filter. The Great Filter is an invisible barrier in the timeline of life that prevents civilizations from advancing to the stage of interstellar colonization. The idea is that at some point, either before or after intelligent life develops, something catastrophic prevents a civilization from expanding beyond its home planet. This could be anything from natural disasters, like asteroid impacts, to self-inflicting dangers, like nuclear war. There's a chance that the Great Filter might already be behind us, meaning that life is incredibly rare and we've passed the most difficult hurdle and we're forging ahead of the pack. Or it might be ahead of us waiting to stop us, just like it has stopped countless other intelligent civilizations. An explanation for why we haven't heard from anyone. And this is where astrophotography and visual astronomy go beyond just taking it in and making pretty pictures. While we don't have concrete evidence of extraterrestrial life, We've been able to map out planets beyond our own solar system, called exoplanets. Many of these planets exist in a habitable zone, the region around a star where liquid water could potentially exist, one of the key ingredients for life as we know it. Using methods like the transit technique, where we observe tiny dips in a star's brightness as a planet passes in front of it, we've discovered thousands of these exoplanets. Astrophotography lets us capture these distant worlds, allowing us to analyse their atmospheres and search for chemical signatures that might suggest the presence of life. So how likely is it then that there's life out there, and not only life but intelligent life like us? The Drake Equation attempts to estimate the number of civilizations within our own galaxy with which we could communicate. It takes into account factors like the rate of star formation, the fraction of stars with planets, and the likelihood of life developing. But think about it for a second. Even if another civilization was 30,000 light years away, well within our own galaxy, even just a one-way conversation would take 30,000 years. And their response to reach us would take another 30,000 years. And that's just potentially a question and answer taking 60,000 years to complete. Anyway, back to this Drake Equation. Although the Drake Equation is speculative, it shows us just how much uncertainty there is. We don't know how common or rare life is. For decades, the search for extraterrestrial life, or SETI, which you may have been a part of, has been scanning the skies for radio signals that might be coming from distant civilizations. So far, we've only encountered silence, but that doesn't mean that no one's out there. Even though we haven't picked up a clear signal yet, we're still hopeful. We're just one tiny planet in a vast universe and our search is still in its infancy. As technology advances, so too does our ability to scan more of the cosmos for signs of life. It could be a case that maybe the Great Filter has kept other civilizations from reaching us, or perhaps we just haven't looked hard enough yet. Either way, the search for life beyond Earth is one of the most exciting scientific endeavours of our time, and within our own lifetimes, we may find the answer as to whether we're alone or someone else is out there.